Going down for real. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Christian, Christian and Cindy's Corners. Corners with your student government president and host, as always, Christian Alexander. And I am your student government vice president and co-host, as always, Cindy Sousis. And I would love to welcome back Christian on our show. We couldn't have done our last episode without your support. Thank you, Cindy. And yes, I really did miss you guys. And Cindy, you did a wonderful job filling in for me and also having a wonder interview with the wonderful Miss Kornhauser was magnificent. But once again, it's good to be back. So as I always say, let's get down to business of our top stories at Pace. Well guys, it's about that time of the year again. Formal will be on Saturday. All right. Yep, I know everyone is excited about this. I know I am. Aren't you excited, Cindy? Oh, I am super excited, Christian. Yep. I know we're going to have a wonderful and awesome time. As I said in previous episodes, the former will be at Marcelo Fathers and Sons Restaurant. The former attiree is suits and ties for men and dresses or dress legs for the ladies. Also, not to mention the last episode, and this is for the first and second years only, we are going to have a party bus pick us up from the dorm at 5 and take us to Lincoln Park Zoo so we can take pictures of us and our former retiree as a group. And then we are going to head over to the restaurant so we can dine with our friends like having dinner, reunite with the past and present at Pace, and also a lot of dancing. So be sure to have your dancing shoes and boogie on down. <laughs> I know it's gonna be a wonderful night. Can't wait. Oh, and one more thing to add. What's best on the day of formal, it's gonna be a wonderful, beautiful spring day. It will be 75 degrees, and I know mostly all of us are ready for this spring weather to come in the 70s. Because I know me and Cindy were waiting for that, and we finally got that nice hot weather. Yeah, we've waited for so long. Yep. About time. Once again, no cool weather. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. <sighs> now I'm gonna recap half of Saturday's activity since we were having Boys Day Out, and I was part of it, so I will recap that. And since Cindy was having Girls Day Out, she will recap on what happened on the girls' activity. Mm -hmm. I will start on the Boys Day Out activity, which was such a fun time. All the first and second year boys who were guided by our wonderful intern manager, Ms. Pudella, and our beloved RA Dan, took the CTA bus all the way to this place called Whirly Ball, where we played Whirly Ball and also we played laser tag and also had a great lunch there as well. Also what we did that was pretty entertaining, we decided to challenge the girls to a photo slash video challenge to see who has a better time. And I think us guys and the girls were really funny and hilarious on making videos to describe why we think the guys are better than the girls and why the girls are better than the guys. And it was really fun and I really had a great time. Now it's Cindy's turn on how they enjoyed their girls day out, Cindy. Wow, that sounds a lot of fun, Christian, and I'm excited to have my turn on what we have been doing on our several fun activities. Mm -hmm. Quite a few of the girls took the train to Davis Station, actually, to have a quick bite to eat at Noodles and & Company, and we also went to look in a few stores in Evanston, making our goofy response videos and taking pictures along the way. We went to retail stores, stationery stores, to kill some time before we went our separate ways. Kathleen, Mary Grace, and Nia left to go see a movie while Miss Kornhauser took me and Celine to get our nails done. Unfortunately, our planned destination, Nails by Angel, was crowded and only took in customers with scheduled appointments. So we problem solved and Celine booked a four o'clock appointment at Nail Ferry and Spa, which is within a few stores at our 1237 building. Here we are showing off our nail colors after my soldier massage and our manicures were completed. The cool thing was that me and Celine got a discount just for being 1237 residents. Wow. We had a pretty good time, especially since our activity had a small group. 
And here's a picture of Kathleen, Mary Grace, and Nia outside of the movie theater. I sure hope they enjoy the movie. Now to recap our special activity at my roommate Hallie Puttrick's internship site, Mario Chikoshi. Miss Shy chaperoned all the ladies on the 143 bus toward Chicago and State for a makeup and hair tutorial for formal this upcoming Saturday. We took a nice brief tour of Mario Chikoshi with Hallie's guidance, and we all received a warm welcome from her supervisors. We were escorted to a quiet spa room where we learned some mascara and lipstick techniques and what appliances to use when curling our hair. And we get to see Hallie perform as a guinea pig for all of them. Then we took a nice group photo before we had dinner at the DePaul Student Center. Before I forget, I want to wish both Hallie and Alexander Lee a very happy belated birthday. They both share a birthday on April 25th. Hope you both had a good one. Yeah, happy birthday, guys. You guys rock. Well, that's the end of our announcements. I am Christian Alexander. And I am Cindy Sousis. And thanks for tuning in to Christian, Christian and Cindy's, Cindy's Corners. Corners. Peace, Peace out, out everyone. everyone.